Are you ready for your next dose? Dr. Marisa Azad gives 79-year-old Tia Turcotte a dose of the phage therapy designed to attack the bacterial infection that resulted from hip replacement surgery. The infection had become resistant to most antibiotics, and Turcotte had developed a severe toxicity to the only one that still worked. Doctors were recommending amputation. This is probably one of the worst uh, periprosthetic joint infections I'd encountered in my career. I was extremely limited in what we can do to treat her, and really, this was the end of the line. So she suggested phage therapy. It's experimental and not available outside of clinical trials. Phages are viruses that only infect bacteria, injecting their genetic information inside, creating more of themselves until they burst out looking for more bacteria to kill. So this was my last resort. I had no other choice. It was do or die. Health Canada authorized a rare single patient clinical trial. What you can see here is this is the bacterial colonies. Samples of the bacteria infecting Turcotte were sent to Stephen Terrio. He and his team used that to create a phage specifically for Turcotte. What we do is ensure that our bacteria phage that we do use is killing the patient's bacteria at a, a very high level, so 100% or 98%, making sure that we get rid of that bacterial infection, creating a solution for patients that don't have any solutions because of antimicrobial resistance and antibiotic resistance. Turcotte's body is responding well. I'm just so happy to be here, to be able to be with my family, with my children, my grandchildren and great-grandchildren. I have a lot to live for. Terrio says that's the reason he got into science. Once we get the government sort of to understand how phages are so beneficial, we're going to have a new therapy for patients, which is going to be amazing. Azad says she's already planning for another clinical trial. A lot of the patients that I see with these infections, they have severe depression. Some patients have amputations, chronic pain. It's a terrible quality of life. And for me to be able to say, you know what, there's hope, that's, that's worth more than anything. You did it. All done. <laughs> All finished. For Tia Turcotte and her family, it's worth everything. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.